This is Amar Jyot Singh and I'm about to answer this question on the screen for Express Entry. Some people ask me what do I do and this is an example of what do I do. I offer consultation to people who have some confusion in their applications, uh, whatever applications they are doing, whether it's Express Entry or sponsorship or spouse or or citizenship or deportation, any kind of immigration law questions and, and confusion that's of interest to me. I look at the problem and I try to give you the answer in the shortest, simplest form. So this uh, query is about express entry. A person has two episodes of work experience, 11 months, uh, and then uh, and then later two years and 11 months. So the question is, please advise on what points can be claimed in the eligibility and CRS for work ex when, when you're doing the EOI profile. Is it two years, 11 months, or three years, 10 months? One of the questions that uh, uh, people uh, need to know is that uh, the NOC 4032, which is you see on the screen, it has to be skilled. In this case, it is skilled. It's a skill A level. I think it's a primary teacher or kindergarten teacher, so this is good. Experience in, is in the past 10 years, so starting from 2008 till 2018 now, 10 years, that's what the experience is. So I see the total experience is uh, is 3 years and uh, 10 months, what, like, so 11 months and, yeah, so total about 3 years, 3 years and 10 months, so it's less than 4 years. Now the 67 point tally in the CRS uh, point system, as you see on the screen, is different. 67 points tally is used when you are entering and qualifying for federal skilled worker. The CRS is used when you are under the into the profile and then they are selecting you on the merit list for, to to invite you for the visa and both the both the tallies both the tallies of the 67 and the CRS use a different uh, combination of formula to see what the points are and we'll take a look in the let's uh, scroll down in the six selection factors this is called the 67 points as you see you need 67 out of 100 to qualify if you don't get 67 here then you are out so based on language education experience age a job offer adaptability that's what you uh, get the points on in the in this uh, in this stage here for uh, for 67 points all the NOCs are eligible to be counted for example if I'm a computer engineer if I have experience one year as an engineer and one year as in sales executive or marketing or sales manager or something so both the experiences if they are eligible to be called skilled they are they are counted for the 67 points tally so that's that's a, that's a good uh, good factor here but uh, if you see here the maximum points are uh, max points are on 6 years plus so that's what you get maximum points which is 15 out of out of 100 but in the CRS i get points only on one chosen occupation which is called a primary occupation as you see in the screen so i want to base my file let's say for example as a computer engineer because i have verifiable experience i have pay stubs i have job letter i have uh, good um, company you know reference and uh, nice things so i'm i'm able to also uh, possibly looking at being uh, attracted for pnp option based on the primary noc on the computer engineer if you want to so i have to choose one primary occupation out of many or more than one so that i can move forward in in crs now in crs points the the are only given based based on one primary noc not not the other one so that's a big difference between the crs and the fsw so this is something that you you need to know as you see on the screen it in the skill work experience must be in the same job type as a primary noc all right so uh, it's highlighted in red so you see that and there's some uh, description about how many hours or so so you need minimum at least one year and 30 hours a week so 15 60 so that's what it is uh, there are points in the crs uh, there are points given also for for people who have experience in Canada, there are some people who are living in Canada, like who are st already uh, on work permit based on students or direct work permit. So if they have uh, verifiable and uh, skilled job experience in Canada, they, they get all the points for all the NOCs, not only just the primary NOC. So that's another uh, big difference which matches with the 67 tally. So in this case, the max they max out at five years or more. All right. So five years or more without the spouse, you get maximum 80 points. So this is something. Uh, this is very different from the 67 points tally. So in 60, uh, let me just uh, rephrase one more time. In the 67 points tally, uh, you get for foreign work experience for, for all of them. Also in CRS, if you have Canadian job experience, uh, then you get the points for all the NOCs within Canada. But if you have no Canadian work experience, then you have to choose one 
NOC from outside, from foreign work experience. All right, so take a look at here. In the CRS tally in, in last 10 years, how many total work experience you have? The maximum points are for three years. That's it. So if you have three years, maximum points uh, are given for, for CRS. So three years is max. So the combination is for what they do is the combination has, is, it has to be in the in the language and the foreign experience. So if I have three years experience uh, outside Canada, and if I have CLB seven or more in the first official language, then I get 25 per ability, as you see at 25, and this is this is 50. So this is this is how I get. So you don't get points just for experience. You get points based on combination of uh, language and and experience. So that's that's how that's how they have they have given, and uh, we'll. We'll now answer this question again. So we know, already know the answer. Look at my answer. I've already typed my answer here. So all the experience is in the past 10 years. That's good. It's less than four years. So it's in 67 points tally, they are, the points are 13 out of 100. And in CRS, they are at the level which says more than three years. So the points are given for the combination of foreign experience plus language. That was higher. See example below. These are the points given for. Now, the other points are given for foreign work experience and Canadian work experience. And in this case, he does not have the Canadian work experience. So that's fine. So it's called skill transferability factor. So he has, somebody has three years work experience plus and with CLP, so we get 50. And if he has foreign experience, then you, you know, then you combine with three years. So, so uh, un my answer is very clear here. So the points are, the, the total experience, qualifying experience is less than four years. So in 67 points tally, oh sorry, 67 points tally, they get 13 and uh, it's CRS level. So you max out, which of course he has more than three years. So that's what it is. So I hope you, this is, this is what, uh, this is the, this is what he has to choose. Three years and uh, 10 months. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or uh, you didn't understand some things, you can always email me or uh, send me a WhatsApp. Uh, e email me WhatsApp. Is, I don't prefer WhatsApp. Email me and then uh, we'll take a look. Thank you very much.